Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do something that looks really impressive, but it's really simple and sometimes it's jolly handy, which is changing the perspective in 3D with a very powerful tool. So, and it's down here, the perspective tool. If you can't see it there, right click on it. You might see the Wesh mob and click the perspective. There we go. So what we're going to do here, the first thing is where it says planes go from single plane there to dual plane. And you can already see the 3D kind of effect. You can do this with buildings, all sorts of things. And if I grab one of these things at the end here, it starts tweaking it. But it looks a bit odd because these points are in the wrong place. So what we're going to do is go to mode here. Instead of destination, we start off with source, which lets us place these points. So I'm going to find where the natural vertical is. And it's, of course, on the corner of this building. We're going to put it up here and put it on a point where I can follow a nice line down to the edge. These points, you can bring them into the edge, but usually they're better on the edge here. Otherwise, it starts to tear the picture. So we'll put that down here. And if you don't believe me, you can always try it, of course. Always worth experimenting. Bring that down here and this one down here. Yeah, so you can zoom in and get them exactly right, but this is good enough for the demonstration. Now we change from the mode here source back to destination. And you already can see a little bit of tweaking around the edge, so a bit of sort of throwaway space around the edge can be a useful idea. And now here's the magic. I just grab one of these and look, just moves and changes it like this. If I want to see more, I can take off show grid and here we have the picture any way we like. We can do really strange things with it. Yeah, suppose we're going to put it sort of somewhere around here. There we go, some sort of sensible thing. If you do the work on the edges here, it can start to do rather strange things to it. And you can see that the, the ripping effect of it down here. So we don't necessarily want that. But you can certainly use this to set a more distant, you know, perspective so it'd make it disappear off into the distance like that that's a useful thing to be able to do if you want to do it so there we go a very very easy adjustment of perspective hope you find that fun and just do a quick more extra thing on this click apply to fix it then if i do layer and rasterize and trim just to cut off any edges so that when i go select Alpha range select partially transparent. It selects the edges around here that have been pulled out. So I go to then edit and in paint and the wonderful magical in painting tool will do its very best to fill that in for me. If it's not perfect, I can always use the clone tool, but control D. Look, there you go. That's pretty good, isn't it? Anyway, there we go. That was fun and hope you found that useful as well. So thank you very much for watching.